Yes, team, Sean here, and today we're gonna to go through a mobility sequence that I love to do in the morning. You can do it before a workout or any time just to break up your day. We're gonna be starting on the mat, lying down with some nice slow mobility, and then working to our feet to hit some more dynamic stretches. Okay, when you're ready, you're gonna start lying down, knees in front of you, relaxing, and we're gonna stretch the thoracic, make big windmills. The thoracic or T-spine is our upper and mid back. So important for loads of sports specific movements and get so tight throughout the day. Do one more big circle and then you're gonna go open up, hold for a sec and then close. One more rep. I'm gonna take it all to the other side. So feet come over, hands come over and we face our hands. Big circles. Feeling that stretch through that whole upper back and we're gonna go openings. Hold it for a sec and then close it. Two, one, and you're just gonna lie down on your back, knees bent, one leg straight and we're gonna lift up, feel that stretch through the hamstring, nice and slow. Don't be too dynamic, just a nice light stretch, slow on the way down on the way up. Trying to seek a little bit more range if we can. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Bend the straight leg, straighten the other leg and take it to the other side team. Hamstring so important for our strength classes to help us deadlift a little bit further, clean anything involving the whole posterior chain. Yes, team, slowly speeding it up. 10 more seconds here. Two, one, you're gonna bring your feet together. We're gonna slowly lift, big squeeze of the glutes. These should be hard, give them a little check, give them a little punch. Make sure they're working and then slow on the way down. And then big squeeze. We're gonna get the blood flowing to our big powerhouse muscles, the glutes, which support our posture and help us work hard through strength and cardio classes. In a few seconds, you're gonna hold that top position. Three, two, one, hold it, hold it tight. And then you're gonna lift one leg off. Try not to wobble that core and then change. We're gonna march it out here. By doing this, we're working the hamstrings and the glutes to prevent rotation and movement through the core. Nice work team, 10 seconds. You're gonna lie down on your front. Two, one, come to the front with me. Make a T shape and then you take foot to opposite hand. Feel a slight stretch, look the other way and then change sides. Hold for about one to two seconds and then change. So we're doing, what we're doing here is stretching the whole anterior part of the body. So our chest, our shoulders, they get super tight throughout the day from sitting, from driving. And we're just gonna reverse those effects, open it out. Just a few more reps and you're gonna come to your knees. Two, one, come to your knees. We're gonna go to a cat cow. So rounding the back, pushing the floor away, and then coming in, looking up. All the way up. Imagine you've got a fish hook in your back, pulling you up, rounding the back, and then bring it flat. 10 more seconds here, less. Nice work team. Three, two, one. You're gonna take one hand, reach it through, and then look to the sky. So again, mobilizing that T-spine or thoracic. Something that gets so tight throughout the day. So I want you to reach really, really far through that gap and then look to the sky. Eyes follow that hand throughout the movement. Two, 
one and we're changing sides. Eyes following that hand. Try to reach a little bit further if we can. Ten more seconds here. Two, one, and you're going to stand up with me. We're going to make things a little bit more dynamic here. We're going to walk out, hold that high plant position, foot to hand, foot to hand, walk it back. We're going to rinse and repeat. Let's go. 20 more seconds. How many can you get? Foot to hand, stretch out that hip flexor, change, and walk it back. Check out the hip flexor. Get super tight if you're a runner. If you do a load of fit classes, we do a lot of hip flexion, so these muscles need a lot of love. One more rep. One, two, stand up, meet me in the center. You're gonna come down, squatting nice and slow, and come up nice and high. Putting it all together, all the mobility that we've done. Okay, well, let's get a little bit deeper. Hold that position for a second. Give me a boogie here, and then stand up. Nice work, team. Getting the blood flowing. Mobilizing our whole body. And in five seconds, you're gonna hold that bottom of the squat. Really relax into it. You're gonna go hands together like you're praying. Knees on the inside, and then you're gonna squeeze those knees out. And then bring them down. Nice work, team. The squat is not just a strength move, but also a mobility move. Push our hips. Really well, 10 more seconds here. Hold it for a second. You can even bring your fists together to make it a bit more of a deep stretch. Three, two, one, stand up with me. Okay, let's stretch out those hamstrings, hand to foot, keeping that back flat. If you can't reach your foot, don't worry. Switch your shin or your knee, trying to keep your back flat. We're getting the, the movements are getting a little bit more specific to what we do in fit classes here. Squatting, now hinging. Three, two, one. Okay, hands together. Push that butt back. Hinge, feel that stretch through the hamstrings and then big squeeze at the top. Such a good activation movement, such a good mobility movement. If you do a lot of strength classes with me, with dumbbells, imagine we're gonna be deadlifting like that. Same movement, same with the clean. Important to mobilize and activate this movement. Three, two, one. Okay, let's work laterally. Feet wide, one foot. This foot is gonna be nice and heavy. We're gonna put all our weight into it. That foot becomes light. Chest forward, hips back. Try and get a little bit deeper if you can, each rep. Going side to side. We spend so much time in our life just walking forward, moving in what we call the sagittal plane. So here, getting some lateral movement in, hitting some muscles we don't always hit throughout daily life. 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna reach up nice and tall and then reach down nice and low. Combining the squat and the hinge. When you reach up, feel confident, feel tall. Stretch your whole front body out. You're ready for what's ahead, whether it's a workout or just the rest of your day, team. Feeling tall, feeling confident, standing proud. Last few reps, two, one. Yes, team, check in with yourself. How do you feel? In just 10 minutes, you're way more ready to take on another workout or just conquer the rest of your day. Team, I hope to see you on the fit mat soon. Have a great day.